Let me show you a really simple, non-technical way for setting up a custom AI chatbot. This is going to be powered by ChatGPT. It's going to have our own set of instructions behind the scenes. It's going to have our own knowledge base, our own greeting messages, and we're going to set our own price. So in this one, I'm going to set a daily message limit of how many people could use for free. And then a pop-up will appear asking them to pay per message or to subscribe for more messages and I could set my own price for it. And this doesn't require any technical knowledge. We're gonna do it in under 10 minutes. Now, if you're familiar with custom GPTs, this is from the GPT store on the ChatGPT website, chatgpt.com slash GPTs. These are different GPTs that people have made and then you could use them. They basically work like the same thing I'm about to show you, except they said in the very first month they released it that we were able to, or we were going to be able to monetize them and that has not come. We still have no way of monetizing these GPTs. So I'm gonna use a different platform that basically creates these custom GPTs that you could share for free, but they made it really, really easy without technical skills to monetize it. Now the platform we're gonna use is called Poe, P-O-E.com. And this is basically, if you haven't heard of it before, it's a platform with all kinds of different chatbots. They have official chatbots, so you could use GPT-40, for example, Gemini, Claude, all kinds of chatbots like that. But they also have chatbots regular people create. Some of those are free. Some of them, those people monetize and get paid per message. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. And if you want to get some ideas on what to build here, and this is going to be completely free, by the way, Poe does have a subscription plan that gives you access to some paid chatbots like Claude Opus and things like that. But you could build a chatbot and you could use all kinds of free chatbots just by having a free account. But if you go to the Explore tab over here and you go to the non-official ones, like I'll go to the Learning tab here, I could see how many monthly users different chatbots have. This one, Mr. Uh, Teacher GPT. So I could click on it and I could interact with it here. But I could kind of see how many people are using it, how many people are following it. I could get more about the bot info over here. And sometimes if you press these three dots, you could see the prompt. This is the prompt they used to train this very specific chatbot. So this is gonna give you some ideas. I'm gonna share some more resources on how to do this too. And then you could kind of go back and forth with this chatbot and see how it interacts with you. Some of these, you could also attach a file and interact with them that way too. It's a great way to find out which chatbots have the most monthly users. So you could build one that's gonna get some traction as well. Now, let me show you how to build one here. Right here, it says create a bot. It's gonna take us to create a bot page. And this is the page where we're gonna create our chatbot. Okay, so right on top, we could go ahead and edit our profile picture and add a profile picture. So they have ton of different image creators on this platform on Poe. So you could go ahead and do it there. You could use Dolly inside of ChatGPT. I'm gonna use Copilot since everyone has Copilot for free. And this does use Dolly 3 in the background. So if you don't have the paid version of ChatGPT, you could just go ahead and create a logo from here. That's your very first step. Okay, this one looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and download this one and I'll upload it here. Next, we need to name our bots. I'm gonna name it Prompt Perfect. And Prompt Perfect, basically what I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna train it how to take a single sentence prompt and make a really effective mega prompt out of it. Now I'm gonna use this tab right here, use a prompt, but they have an option for using your own server, which is far more advanced than I'm gonna cover here. And then on their base bots, you could actually choose which chatbot you want to use as your base bot. So, for example, a lot of logo creators are very popular. So you may want to use Dolly for that. Some of these are going to require you to subscribe to Poe in order to use them. So Dolly 3 is one of those. Claude Opus is one of those. So in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the free chat GPT. But I could use other models like Claude Haiku, for example, without a subscription. I'm going to use GPT-40, actually. This does not require a subscription. And then down here, this is where my prompt is going to go. And they actually give you a page right here that's going to tell you a little bit more about prompting. But I'll show you some examples of what I've done here for a prompt. Now, this is called a system prompt. This is the most important part of building these chatbots because you want to give it a set of instructions so it could act that way. So you are an AI assistant specialized in creating effective and detailed prompts for other AI chatbots. Your goal is to craft prompts that guide AI to generate high quality content. And then I'm gonna give it a whole bunch of very specific things to follow. 
So it has objective, it has key elements. I'm even gonna tell it how to format the output over here, the process. I'm even gonna give it an example prompt of how I want a specific prompt to go. I'll show you one more I've built here. I built this other one called Talk Like Us, where I was basically training it to write in a very friendly and conversational and human way and avoid things like a lot of the things that ChatGPT does by default. And again, the same type of prompt, you are a writing assistant, goal is to create content that reads as if it was written by a friendly, engaging and relatable human. And then again, objective, very specific tone and style of what I want out of these. Even in this one, I ask it to, before it starts, think about the approach and put the key points in a sketch pad. And then this will help it organize its own thoughts. So when it creates the content, it has some things to refer back to. So this is a really good effective prompting technique to get it to think step by step. And I just made a video about actually coming up with really effective prompts. So I'll link that in the description. You could see how you could turn a single sentence prompt into prompts that look more like this. Then underneath that, you have a knowledge base. So if you have any documentation, you could get it to cite those resources. Just go ahead and add these. These could be PDFs and Word docs and things like that. Make sure this is turned on. In this specific chatbot, I don't need a knowledge base. But in a lot of my chatbots, even custom GPTs that I've built, I do have a knowledge base that it refers back to and pulls in information. Especially if you're building this for yourself, this is a good way. You don't have to make these public and monetize them. You could just leave these private and use them for yourself too. The greeting message, you want a greeting message that someone sees when they first jump into here. So I'm gonna keep this simple, type in your topic or idea, and I'll create a Taylor prompt just for you. So this is the first message someone's gonna see when they open up this chatbot. They have some advanced options. This one I like, suggest replies. So it actually gives you, based on each reply, some follow-up options you could just click on, makes the conversation go a lot smoother. A lot of times you're not sure how to follow up with a chatbot. So this gives you options. The bot bio, this is basically you're telling people what your bot does. So you definitely want something good here to describe exactly what it does. So when people see it at a glance, they understand it. And my bio just says instantly create custom prompts for any idea. Just share your topic and perfect prompt will craft the perfect prompt for you make these public. I'm going to make sure that's on. But if you want to keep it private, this is the slider for that. Recommend other bots. You could turn this on and off. I'm going to turn it off here. Show prompt in bot profile. For some reason, some people make these prompts, the system prompts available for other people to see. In my case, and by default, I think it's turned to off. So I'm going to leave it off. Now we're on to the monetization section. We still have to turn this on somewhere else within Po. First, you could set a daily message limit. So I could turn this on. And this is basically how many messages people are going to be able to get for free. And then a pop-up is going to basically interrupt them saying, hey, you want more? Subscribe, right? So right here is telling you we recommend starting at 10. So they get 10 messages. After that, they hit a paywall. So if I'm doing a prompt generator, 10 makes a lot of sense. But you could go way up. You could go all the way to 100. But any more or any less than 10, they're not going to really see if this is useful. And then when that pop-up comes up, it's not going to be very effective for them to subscribe. Then it says message earning. This part's a little bit confusing by default, but really all you have to do down here is you have to type in a price. Now, this totally depends which bot you choose over here. So if the base bot is GPT-4, a single message is going to take 300 credits. They put credits here. So let me just choose the regular GPT that they have, this one. And if I go down here, it's down to 20. So I'll just show you this one as a standard because GPT-4.0 is costing Poe a lot more money. They still have to pay them to use it. So what I usually would do here is put in 5 cents, okay? It changes the credits here to 25. So typically people, they'll see a credit. They won't see like how much it's costing until it's asking them to uh, pay for it. So user facing points, 25. If I change this to 10, it's going to go up a little bit more. I think 11 actually gets you to 30. So per message, each time a prompt is generated, after they hit their free limit, it's going to cost 11 cents. But for a starter prompt, you want to be somewhere between 5 to 10 cents. For something more premium, you want to be 10 cents to 20 cents. That's the number you want to put in here. For some reason, they make this a little bit confusing and how it's worded. If you use these better models, you're going to get better chatbots, but it's going to make it a lot more expensive for people. So let me see 
if I use Haiku here, how much is that gonna cost? Okay, Haiku's pretty good, Opus Haiku. So maybe I'll use that one so it's not so expensive, but it still gives me good results for the people using it and see how that goes. I'll set mine to 11 cents per message, which the user facing point is gonna be 40. When they hit that limit of 10, it's gonna ask him to basically pay. Now the name was taken, so I changed it to Prompt Leap. Since my channel is called Skill Leap, I figured that's fine. When people see this, this is what it looks like exactly. They're gonna see how many messages. If they press view more, it says limit messages right here. This is when I limited it 10 out of 10. And then they could subscribe for more when they're gonna get that pop-up to subscribe. And I'm gonna earn that money here, anything that is over the message limit here. And right here, type your topic to get started. And here I just wrote, write a blog post about generative AI. And here's the prompt that it generated for me. And you could see, I ask it typically to create what's called a sketchpad so it could think through step by step and then start giving me more instructions over here. It's gonna give me a word count. Again, I could tweak all this to make it the perfect prompt for me. And then I could take it from here to use it inside of other chatbots. I could use it inside of Poe with the other chatbots here. I could take it to ChatGPT, Claude, or wherever I want. And then I could keep fine tuning this as I get more users, more followers. So I'll link this in the description too if you wanna just test this out for yourself. It comes with some free messages obviously to get you some prompts here. And you could also try to create these system prompts for your own chatbots with this as well. Now for monetization, you have to come to the left side under the creators tab. And this is the creator monetization here. Set per message prices, which we've done, and then get paid. Earn when users message your bot. That's when they go beyond the free limits that you set. And they also have a subscriber's earning. So sometimes a pop-up is gonna come up where they're gonna ask them to subscribe and then you're gonna earn a different way there. So they have two ways to pay. And if you press learn more on top, so this is where I kind of figured out how much I should charge per message. And it tells you which regions these are available. These are not available worldwide just yet, but it has all these countries here where this is eligible for monetization. And then all you have to do is log into Stripe. So you have to set up a Stripe account because they have to pay you. And it says when you earn $100, they will pay you here. Pretty straightforward under this tab. So make sure you set this up here. And then all your bots, if you go to the your bot section, any bot that you've recently used or any bot that you've recently created, you could just go ahead and click on them like this. You could jump over here, press the three dots, make any edits and refine it as much as you want, add more to the knowledge base and keep upgrading it. You could always change the price too. If you feel like this wasn't good enough, you're only getting five cents, 10 cents per message and you don't have enough users and it doesn't make sense or nobody's upgrading because your limit was too high or too low, you could change all that on this page. Now make sure you check out the other prompting video if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.